Mike, let's talk about the state of virtual reality video games. In the Washington State Convention Center at the Penny Arcade Expo West 2016 AD. Between September 2nd and the 5th. Yeah, Labor Day weekend. Uh, so yeah, I saw Doom VR and Fallout 4 VR, which honestly I did not expect when those were announced at E3 and shown off at QuakeCon, I want to say. Yep, so I didn't expect those either, and here's the one I'm way more interested in hearing about is Fallout, because Doom, I can see. Doom, I can see playing in virtual reality just fine. Fallout, I'm a lot more curious because it's it's an RPG, it's an open world RPG. Um, that game is not especially hard to run on most computers, but the additional strain of virtual reality, I don't know how that could work. It is very interesting, Okay. honestly, in both respects. Well, let's start with Doom then. We'll start with Doom. I, first, I do want to clarify, they are two different dev teams Okay. making these games. Mm -hmm. It made Doom. Bethesda made Fallout. Bethesda published both those. Okay. So I, I feel mean, like yeah, that yeah, is yeah, an yeah, important distinction to make when I talk about the quality of these VR ports. What's the difference then? Is, is there, there like a noticeable is a difference? There is a very, very stark difference in quality, I would say, between okay. A, these two video games as video games. Sure. Two, these two video games as VR video games as an extension of, you know, Right. The actual games. Because if I was Bethesda, I would, like, have id working on both. So you have, like, these two flagship Bethesda video games coming to virtual reality. You have, like, a continuity between the two of them. And then you have these technical wizards over at id mm -hmm. making sure everything works properly. I, I'm surprised by the fact that they have Bethesda Softworks working on this port. I think id kind of has the home field advantage on this one. Yeah, uh, I agree. Since they were able to start with a better engine. Mm -hmm. And they've got Vulkan support in their game, which makes it run so much better on PC, which you need for VR. You need that 90 FPS or whatever. You need no screen tearing. You need that fidelity. Um, Fallout 4 did not. So we'll start with Doom. Okay. Uh, Doom was a fun demo. Uh, they did a lot of stuff. Uh, it, it was more of a, I would say, a cross between a gameplay presentation and a tech demo. Okay. Uh, it started off in this little area where I could view little 3D figurines of Doom enemies and little Doom guy. I, I was able to pick up the little Doom guy model, the little secret Doom guy that you find in the game, and like toss him around, and that was fun. It quickly moved me over to a short corridor section, and it was in the dark. Uh, the way you move around in that game is you hold the left trigger, and the game slows down, um, and you're able to aim like this arc of teleportation wherever you want to oh. be. And here's the thing is when you release it, the game goes back to full speed, and you do a quick dash to that location. So it's not a actual teleport. It's right. A, so there is a feeling of movement, but it's not enough that I get sick. I don't love that. I did, and here's why. The right controller is used for your guns, and that is all it is used for. The left controller is only used for movement. Mm -hmm. So I did find myself like crossing my hands over where I'm shooting at something, and I flick back behind me as I... Uh, you know, dash backwards, and it, it it didn't disrupt the gameplay enough, and it felt enough like 2D Doom that I was totally able to you know get on board and and fight these fucking imps. So you've played Doom, I haven't, uh, but the understanding I got is that sticking and moving uh, in the game is super important. Like movement is the most the important thing in that game, right? So like the teleportation doesn't hinder that at all. It is not teleportation. The part where you have to slow down and you have to, like, pick a point to move, that doesn't slow it down? Well, you could just tap the trigger and dash, uh, or you could hold it down and the game goes into slow. Okay, okay, yeah. that I guess that makes more sense. Mm -hmm. um, personally, I wish that there was just, like, you had, like, one of the little touchpads on mm -hmm. the Vive controller and you can just, like, move in X direction. Yeah, but see, the thing with VR is that would actually get you sick. Any sort of artificial locomotion in that sense, when you're standing up in room-scale VR is really bad for uh, like the uh, your inner ear because mm -hmm. it's not sensing any motion in the real world, but right. you're seeing motion. It's a very complicated thing to do, and I am not sure how they're... I'm not sure how anyone is going to fix it without teleportation. But yeah. this is a unique enough take on it that feels good and that I would be fine with in a AAA video game. Okay. Uh, I did see a larger wide open area with a lot of pillars that I could teleport to, which... Honestly, I don't think would have been possible to jump between those in the actual 2D game. Um, but yeah, there were a lot of huge enemies. Uh, the last bit of that demo was I fought 
the final boss of Doom, okay. which I'm not going to spoil if you haven't played Doom, because you very much should play Doom. Uh, but seeing the final boss of Doom and 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 dashing around this giant arena and shooting rocket launchers and throwing grenades and all that kind of stuff, it was a lot of fun. And I definitely want to finish Doom in 2D so I can be ready enough for VR Doom. Sure. Uh, it is something that I'm actually... I, I need to go buy a VR headset, like, right now. Okay. Uh, let's talk about Fallout 4. So this is the one I was way more interested in, and it sounds like this is the one that is the weakest of the two. This is the second side of that coin. Okay. Um, it's pretty bad. Hit me. You know Deliver how Fallout 4 was like pretty bad? Uh, no, Fallout 4 is a great game. Some might say it's one of the ten best games of the year. Some would say it is one of the top ten best games of the year. Yes. I don't feel uh -huh. that way, uh, and I'm okay with the fact that you do. The VR version of Fallout 4 is very bad. Okay. Is this a case where, like, you don't like the game and then it's bad? Or is it, like, is it a technical issue? I like Fallout 4. Okay. I do not like the way it runs. Okay. I do not like the glitches and just Bethesda-iness of every game they've ever put out. <laughs> um, sure. It's running on a very dated engine. It is... Is it the bunch Skyrim of, engine? It is the Skyrim engine, as far as I remember, the Gamebryo engine. Sure. Whatever it is. It's very not optimized. Uh, my roommate has a GTX 1070, and he can barely play that game in 1080p at 60 FPS. That's weird. I've now, had no problems with that. Now, you got to be running this in VR, rendering two screens, 1440p, at 90 FPS. Yeah. Uh, that is a very, very hard thing to do. And with the way that game handles certain events, like, it crashes a lot. <laughs> it crashes a lot. And deletes your save a lot. See, that happened to you way more than it happened to me. And this is sort of the weird thing about porting Fallout 4 to VR. Is that I had... This is the Bethesda game that crashed the least for me and glitched the least for me. Um, but it, I am not going to like argue that it's like this perfect, uh, untouchable thing. Um, because enough people have said this is a weird broken thing. Where I'm like, yeah, this, is, this thing has some issues. Um, and then to add like the VR variable to that, I can see how that could be a huge problem going forward. Yeah, so the VR component was fine, to be honest. Uh, I was walking around the little gas station where you first meet the dog. Okay. Uh, and the interaction with some things was a little weird because I am not left-handed, and all of the interaction stuff is done with the left controller. Uh, so, like, squeezing the grips was your interact button, essentially. Okay. Um, now, I, I was, you know, just kind of able to walk around. Um, is it the same movement as Doom? No. It is actual teleportation. So you point in a direction, pull the trigger... And it's just a cut. Like, it just cuts to... That sucks. You, you are there. That sucks. Because, like, that game has combat. That game has a lot of combat. Yeah. And you know what, what I was able to do when a fucking death claw spawned? Uh-huh. I threw a traffic cone at it and then hit the left trigger 50 times. And I was all the way on the other side of the map. See, that's something that I, I wish... I want some uh, enterprising modder to put in co-op for Fallout VR. So then you can capture Miles Cox... Just like teleporting away from this death claw, not even running, just like beep, 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 across the map. Yeah, I exactly. Some, like, like it was literally broken just ass going, Benny beep, Hill beep, shit. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, there is a limit on the distance you can teleport. Okay. Uh, which I, I I would say would limit your movement speed, and I'm saying that in massive quotes. Yeah. Um. So that felt like it was balanced in a way, so you can't just like point to the other end of the map and be like, I'm there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, it was an interesting thing. The guns felt fine. It's Fallout guns. Uh, just imagine that, but sure. you're holding one. Perfectly acceptable. Um, they were a little too big for my taste. Okay. Uh, your left, your left controller is your Pip Boy, and that was way too big for my taste. It was like the size of my chest. Okay. Um, that might just be I'm a thin, small boy in yeah, real you're life. Yeah, very small. Um, but that Pip Boy was fuck huge. Maybe it's actually supposed to be that big. I'm not sure. What was it like seeing a death claw up close? It wasn't anything special. That sucks. That's it, that's a huge issue. It was a death claw, and it did its weird. It got stuck on geometry and like <laughs> turned around over and over and over, and then it swiped at me and teleported behind me. And it was when bad. you see a death claw in VR, your first instinct should be to shit your pants because of what that monster has meant in Fallout for so long. Yeah, that's the point. I yeah, saw a death a claw, and I was like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a, it's you did a the Tim Allen grunt. Oh, no, and just started I just running went. away. <laughs> yeah, he just, he just growled. And then I hit the left trigger 50 times. Uh -huh. So that, I was like, that, I, I just want to throw ended. tires onto shit. I don't want to deal with this right now. Yeah, Wilson the Deathclaw shows up. 
Yeah, Fallout 4 VR is not good. That's a huge shame. I want it to be good. That is a tremendous disappointment for me, Mike Casamano. There are certainly things they can do to fix it. Yeah. But I feel like at this point, without transitioning to an entirely new engine, the performance issues and yeah, just general wonkiness. The tracking was bad. The frame rate was terrible. There's only so much you can do to fix it. It dipped to like 45 during most times, and you need double that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Doom VR, it's good. Fallout 4, not as good. That's a shame. Well, thank you very much, Miles Cox. Thanks, Mike. Destructor.com. Go to it. Go there.